This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news, all right? So we got Bobby Schmurda finds his French bay, his little French baguette, while he's over in France taking a spooky little picture. Found his little bond, his little blonde, um, white shining, <laughs> white knight in shining armor. Uh, with a with a bald head. Okay, this is a, a spooky picture. Okay, weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. Then we got Young Dolph's son dropping a clothing line. It's selling out the first day. They're gonna do a restock. Make sure you go and support. It's a King of Memphis collection. Love it, man. He's nine years old. Um, making money. Uh, what's the website, man? King of Memphis collection on bmdtgo.com. Um, his mom says, when I say I'm so proud of my son, I truly mean it. I'm actually proud of both of my children, and now they have been growing through their hurt, pain, and grief. The journey hasn't been peaches and cream, and we have actually had some rough times, especially... Uh, with Trey being a young boy, losing his hero. Yeah, I'm going to tell you something, man. Yo Gotti didn't even, like... These guys didn't have... These guys had beef. And the real beef beat came behind Yo Gotti um, and the three attempts on Dolph's life. The fourth one, we don't know if that had anything to do with Gotti or if it was somebody else in Memphis. Yo Gotti should have put been the bigger man. And said, you know, rest in peace to that man. Because because he didn't. I don't know, man. I don't I don't like Yo Gotti anymore. You know? I really don't. Um when he started doing all this stuff and it was obvious, it made me really not mess with him anymore, like in my mind. You know, like obviously we hadn't been talking for a long time. Because, like, you know, we, we it was business. This is the music business. He wasn't. We weren't friends. <laughs> we were doing business together for a few years, you know. And I enjoyed working with him around that time. Obviously, the years after that, he got a big head and get, became a control freak, you know. And obviously, he was mad if anybody didn't sign to him. Um, it's very sad that Dolph isn't here anymore. And um, you know, I, I still enjoy Yo Gotti's music. Especially the stuff he dropped back back in the day, I can separate the music from the person, but I just don't mess with this at all. And I know certain people that stepped away from uh, Yo Gotti around 2016 when he became infatuated with doing things to Dolph <clears throat> for a few years. Now we don't know if this recent, you know, Dolph's passing had anything to do with Gotti. It looks like it didn't. It had to do with some other guys. As of right now, you know, the, the, the police have to do their investigations and see how deep everything goes. But I don't know. Then we got Asian Doll defending uh, Summer Walker. I don't know why Asian Doll is coming out defending Summer Walker, probably to get posted on a blog. But she said, girls be swallowing pills to get thick, but worried about Summer Walker body. I didn't see anybody coming for Summer Walker's body. It was more about her being um, a mother and kind of like turning up out of nowhere. And, and there's nothing wrong with turning up, but like, I don't know, like you have two kids. It's just like, you know, there's a time to be wild and crazy and there's a time to be the singer and excellent artist you are, you know. Beyonce never like was doing that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't see Chloe or I don't see Haley Bailey like doing that stuff. Like, you know, it's like I look at Summer Walker as being up there, you know? To me, you know, she doesn't need to do the antics. Now, if she I obviously she wants to. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm not co completely criticizing her. It's her life. This is the most hilarious thing I've seen today. DJ Khaled says he started off playing golf at 290, and now he's 267, because golf, bro, you take a golf cart to every ball, every, whenever you hit the ball, you get back in your golf cart, you get out, you have a vehicle, you have a ve you're like those people that go to the supermarket, and you get in one of those carts to go shopping, 
You're not losing any weight, bro. You're 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 losing your <laughs> doing as little exercise as possible. You like golf because it has a car. <laughs> um I'm just saying it's kind of crazy. Uh you know, and him being 290 is hilarious too. He's probably probably started off at 350, so he's probably down. I mean, it's probably down, but you know, there's there's also a lot of videos mixed in with his golf videos of him eating like 20 lobster tails, dipped in heavy butter. Kim Kardashian, you know, we read that thing the other day about C murder. Her talking about his case and that. You know, she's working on it and trying to get him another case because there's so many consistencies with it. See, Murder thanks her. Uh, says it's been a long fight and journey for justice. Thank you, Kim Kardashian, and everyone involved over the years, praying, advocating, and believing in my innocence. Then we got uh, Angela Simmons and Slutty Vegan CEO Pinky Cole announce vegan dessert business venture in collaboration with Sugar Factory. Huh. Okay, so I didn't know she was uh, so into being... I didn't know she was like a heavy vegan like that. All right, so that makes sense. Okay, so they're going to like have their own dessert at Sugar Factory. Cool. Um, Drake, J Drake bets against Jake Paul. He puts 250K bet, which he really isn't betting his own money, so don't get too excited. He has a deal with... Uh, damn, boy. Uh, what's his strike? Stripe, what's it? Betting company. What is it called? Strike. I think it's called Strike. Strike, Drake. It'll it'll come up. I think it's it's not DraftKings. It's the other one. It starts with an S. He gets paid a lot of money from them. Um, I don't know why it's. And then last we got a. Uh, Basically, he doesn't put up his own money. He's promoting them when he does that. Then we got uh, K. Michelle. Dar Darius Cooks went and reviewed one of her restaurants. She says, Darius Cooks, shut up. Bread tastes like rocks digging in a near nose, cooking with acrylic hair chest. Da 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 da. What, just because he didn't give you a good review? You're going to, come on, throw a temper tantrum? Make better food. How about that? Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I appreciate you all. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will check you guys on the next one. Peace.